Hey guys, I'm back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this wooden mansion. Here in this one, we're going to be finishing the main exterior of the house. What we really have left to do is the roof. And then, we should also have time to do all the landscaping for the front and backyard. Be sure to go ahead and grab some stripped spruce logs, oak wood planks, spruce wood planks, oak wood stairs, dark oak wood stairs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, dark oak wood slabs, spruce trap doors, dark oak fences, white stained glass panes, some glowstone, lantern, chain, and a lightning rod, which is something that I forgot at the original build, so I'd recommend maybe putting this at the top of your house so that lightning doesn't strike and burn it down. Make sure you have the stripped spruce logs, and I'm going to start filling in the rest of the walls right behind the roof for the lower sides, so all the space right here. I'm going to go behind here, and we'll look more towards this right side. Make sure you're lined up where this second stair is. So we have the first one here. This will be the second one. We're going to bring up a pillar of four of the stripped spruce logs like that. Go down here at the bottom and fix that first one. Here at the left side, we want to make sure we're lined up with this third stair. So that's one. That's two. This will be three. We'll bring up another pillar of four. Go down here at the bottom again. Fix that. And now all of the other space is going to be filled in with oak wood planks. So you can just follow along the rest of these dark oak wood stairs. We'll place one here and here. And then we'll bring this up to the same height as the pillars. We'll look over here at this side. We just have the one space. So we'll start down here at the bottom where that stair is. Bring it all the way up. And then right here in the middle, we'll just follow along the stairs and that slab and then we'll fill in all of the space above it so now from the outside if this is what it's looking like we'll do the same over here at this side so i'll show it one more time so more towards this right space we're going to be lined up here with this third stair bring up that pillar go over here towards this left side we're going to be lined up with the second stair do the same thing and then the rest of the space will be filled in with these oak wood planks. And once again from the outside, this is what it's looking like. So when you look at it from the outside, just make sure you see two spaces of the planks here. Two spaces on this side, and then you can see there's five down the middle. Okay, now let's go towards the back, and we're going to do the exact same thing here on this side, as well as over for that side. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be sure to show you how it should be looking after it's done. So I did the back sides. So once again, it's all looking like this, the two spaces on each side, the five spaces down the middle. And one thing to pay attention to, uh, in case you didn't notice, we already have the set, like this first strip of the oak wood planks. We already placed that in the previous video. So we only had to add the additional space right here to make it two in total. As for this other space, we still had to add both of them. So that's the same with the front. You can see right here, we already had this strip, so we only had to add one additional one. So just keep that in mind in case you didn't notice. But this is what we have so far. Now make sure to switch back to the stripped spruce logs. We're going to go at the top layer of all of the pillars, and we're going to start adding some beams. So I'll start here at this front left side. We have these two spaces right here. So you could just place them along the side like this, just at the top layer of all the walls and the pillars. Just like that. We're going to skip over all this space here. We're going to be skipping over all the space where the balcony is. Make sure to do these two spaces right here. Skip over that space. We're going to go along the sides and do these two. We'll do the same thing all the way over here. Here 
here at the back we have these two spaces again and then we're going to wrap around and do this part down the middle that juts out so i'll start over here fill it all in wrap it around down the middle here and work your way over to the other side all right so that's all looking good we'll head on back up to the front now make sure you have the spruce wood stairs and we're going to start marking out the overhang for the roof so we're going to be pretty much wrapping around the entire top edge of the house we are going to be skipping over the space right here right above where the roof for the lower sides are but we'll go ahead and start here just at the front side more towards the left and I think right here where this pillar will be a good spot to start. So you can just place the stairs upside down all along here at the very top of the walls. And we'll bring this over until we're here at the edge of this pillar. And then we'll continue this going out. Once you line up here at the edge of this pillar, you want to go ahead and add a spruce wood slab. That'll be for the corner. And then you can continue along here at the front. So just bring it straight across into that other pillar. Once you meet up with this pillar that juts out, you want to make sure the final stair up against it is curving like that. And then we'll go ahead and have a spruce wood slab right there. And then continue straight across right here with these stairs. Once you meet up here at the edge, you want to go ahead and have another slab there. And then we're going to have a stair like that. And then go ahead and curve into that stair and continue along. Once you meet up at the edge here, we're going to have another slab, back to the stairs, right there. And they could go ahead and continue this along until we line up with the pillar over here. So there we go. We have the overhang marked out like that here for the front. So just make sure in each corner you have a slab like this. Now, where we left off on each side, make sure you have a spruce wood slab. We're going to place this just right next to the stair, and then we're going to go in to the wall like that. So we just have two slabs here at the edge. We'll go over to this other side. We'll do the same thing. So just one here, one into the wall. I'm over here at this right side, and we'll just continue wrapping around. So make sure to switch back to the spruce wood stair. We'll just place one right here lined up where that pillar is. Make sure to switch back to the spruce wood slabs. We'll place one at the left and we'll bring that in so we have the two slabs here just like we did at the other side. And now in the corner we'll go ahead and have a slab and then we'll bring a strip of the upside down spruce wood stairs along the side here. Once you meet up with the edge we're going to have another slab and then a stair. And then two slabs right here, like that. Over on this side, we're going to line up here where this pillar is again. We'll have a stair like that. And then right here, we'll have the other two slabs. Continue right along here. More upside down stairs. Go ahead and wrap it around. And we're going to bring this over until we're lined up where this pillar is. Go ahead and fill in this with a slab. Continue the stairs along here. Once you meet up with this pillar that juts out, make sure that final stair is curving into it. And then grab the spruce wood planks. We want to make sure to fill in this corner right there. And now where you have this curved stair, you want to go ahead and switch back to the slab. Place it right there. Continue along with the upside down spruce wood stairs. We're going to have another slab here, a stair in that direction, and then go ahead and curve together the rest of the stairs. We're going to bring this over until we're lined up here at the edge. We're going to fill this in with a slab, and then back to the stairs straight across. Make sure once again to fill in at this corner with the spruce wood planks. And then we'll continue the stairs until we meet up with that pillar. And then we'll fill this in with two more slabs like that. 
go over to this side, we'll line up where this pillar is, have a stair, the two slabs right there, slab right here for the corner, another set of stairs going straight across, back up to the front, have another slab, a stair, and two slabs. And now we went all the way around the entire top edge. So that is the entire overhang for the roof. Now we pretty much just have to start shaping out all of the triangle points and then fill in the roof itself. Make sure to switch back to the stripped spruce logs. The first thing we're going to do is just add an additional block on top of the corners where the pillars are over on the sides of the house. So it's going to be right next to the spots where we added these two slabs going into the wall art. So it'll be right here, right here, and then for the back as well. And then go over to this side and do the same thing. And now we're going to start shaping out the triangle points for the front and back for each side of the house. So, you can start with the spruce width stairs. We're just going to place an upside down one lined up where we just brought up that extra block where the pillar is. So you can place an upside down one like that. We'll go ahead and do the same for that side. And then we'll start shaping out the triangle point. So we're just going to go right next to... Here, I'll actually look down here. You can kind of see it's going to be like the seam design that we've done for the previous roof, for the lower part. So you know how we have the stair here, we just place that upside down one right there, and then it's just the same design. Let me go back up. We'll go ahead and place a stair like that, another one right on top of that, and then it'll just be back and forth, so upside down, up, upside down, and up. So we'll go ahead and bring this left side up to right here. It's brought up right there. We'll go ahead and do the same on this side. And now you can see they're at the same height. We're just left with the single space down the middle. We're going to fill that in with a spruce wood block like that. Upside down stair in front of it. Two slabs on top and another slab behind it. So that's that first shape. So now I'm going to do that over there at the left side. And then we're going to have the ones at the back. So just the same exact thing we just did there. So I'll see you guys once I have it all done. So there we go. We have the roof shaped out like that. On both sides for the front and the back. I'll head on back up to the front. We'll go ahead and mark out this small triangle point right here in the middle where the balcony is. So this one is pretty simple. We'll just start at the corner like that. Go ahead and have our stair like that. And then just up, upside down, up, and it's going to be one more time. So upside down and up. So we're going to be lined up at the left side of the door. We'll go ahead and bring up this other side. And this one's going to be a little bit different at the top in the middle. We're not going to be left with one space. You can actually see how they're just side by side like that. Now let's go to the back. We'll go ahead and do the triangle point back here. So I'll start where this corner is. And it's going to be the same design as that one at the front. It's just going to be bigger. So make sure you could just go ahead and pay attention to the doorways at the bottom. So this right side will be lined up where that right doorway is, and then the left side would be brought up to the left doorway. So that's one thing you could pay attention to. You know what, it's actually easier to look at the window since it's closer. So you can see the right side would be lined up here at the right of the window, the left side would be brought up right here. There we go. We have the triangle point there for the back. Now let's go ahead and mark out the ones that we have along the side here. I'm back at the front and I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment to the overhang on each side where the balcony is. So we just want to make sure these stairs here are lined up where those ones are at the back. You can see how I added a little beam right there. 
So we have to make sure to add another beam here along the side of the balcony. So we're going to go ahead and delete this slab. All these stairs right here. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and replace it with a stripped spruce log. Right there. And then we'll go ahead and add an extra stair. And then a slab in the corner. And then we'll curve together the rest of the stairs. Like bring it back and curve it into there. So now we just have an extra beam right here underneath. I'll go over to this side. And I'll do the same thing. So we're pretty much just deleting this strip right here. We're going to replace it with the stripped spruce logs. We're going to add an extra stair the slab, and then the stairs along the side. And there we go. And now you can see these are both lined up for the front and for the back. So now with these lined up, we're going to go ahead and start shaping out the triangle points we're going to have here. So I'm going to start here at the front. I'm just more towards this right side. And I'm just going to be right here on this corner. I'm going to place a stair like that. One upside down on its side. And then just back and forth facing up and upside down. So it's going to be the same design that we've done everywhere else. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring this first side up. Until I feel like it's about where it should be. I'm not going to count it or do anything like that. So we're just going to make a guess. And if we need to make an adjustment we will. I'm going to go ahead and maybe just stop it right around there. So now I'm going to go here at the back side where this corner is, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to bring it up the same way, and we'll see if they're where they're supposed to be. So I have to go ahead and just bring up each side one more time. And they're going to connect together like that, just side by side. So now what we just did right here, we're going to go ahead and do right here for this side. And there we go, now we brought up that side. So we have just about all of the triangle points marked out. So now we just have to go on each side of the house. We have another triangle point here, which kind of connects into the ones that we already did here. We're gonna have another one over on that side. So with your spruce wood stairs, we're just gonna go right behind the stair right here for this shape. And we're gonna go up against the pillar. And we just wanna place one like that. We'll do the same over here, so just right up against that pillar. And then, this is where we're going to start shaping out the point. So just the same design, just up and upside down, back and forth. And the middle point is going to be where this pillar is. So that side's actually brought up where it should be. We'll go ahead and do the same over here. Now we're going to have the full block in the middle, the stair at the front, the two slabs on top, and then the slab at the back. So there we go. Now we have a total of three points here at this side. We're going to head on over here and do the same thing. So with your stair, go ahead and just place it right up against that extra block for the pillar, and then just shape out the point. And there we go. Now we have all of the points for the roof marked out. The next thing we're going to do is just start filling in all of the space behind those shapes. And they will start filling in the main roof. Make sure to now have these stripped spruce logs. And I'll just head on over to each side of the build. And we'll start by filling in these shapes first. So you can see how we already added the strips of the logs for the wall here. We're just going to continue bringing that up. So I'm just going to go from the inside. That'll probably be easier. We're going to bring it up until we line up with the stair. So it's going to be an additional one, two, three, and four like that. Now you can see how it's lined up with that stair right there. We'll do the same on this side. We'll do the same for the back. And 
And now we'll go back up to the front and we're gonna have a strip just right here on top of these oak wood planks. So on this side, it's gonna be sideways and we just wanna place just two over there. We'll have another two right here. And then for all of this space down the middle, like that. We'll do the same at the back. There we go. And now the rest of the space we're going to fill in. Oh wait, we will have a window right here in the middle. But let's first just go ahead and fill it all in with the oak wood planks. So you could go ahead and switch to those. And we just want to continue following along where these upside down spruce wood stairs are. So here in this corner, we're going to be adding three right there. Here in the middle, we'll go ahead and fill all of this in. We'll bring it up. So we're lined up right there. We'll bring that straight across. Now we're lined up there. Bring that over. We'll have an extra one here. So we're just following along all of those upside down stairs. Down here, we're going to have another set of three. We'll do the same here at the front. Okay, so that's all looking good. Now, Let's mark out the little window we're going to have. So we're going to leave one space of the planks down here. And that will carve out three spaces. We'll add a stair upside down and up. So at the top and at the bottom. And then that empty space in the middle is going to be filled in with a white stained glass pane. So just a small little window right there. We'll go to the back side and we'll do the same thing. So these three spaces here have the stair at the top and at the bottom, and then is the white stained glass pane. And now, let's actually continue with the overhang that we're going to have here for the roof. So we're going to be adding an extra layer of spruce wood stairs, and that's going to be going into the wall that we just placed. So you just want to line up where all of these stairs already are, and we're just going to be adding this. Pretty much just filling in the rest of the gap here. And then for the space right here in the middle, that's going to be filled in with a full block of the spruce wood planks. And I can see all of that is filled in. We'll do the same at the front. Alright, now let's go here at the side and we'll start filling all of this in. So pretty much wherever you see the rest of the empty space, we're just going to go ahead and fill in. So make sure you have the oak wood planks. Just fill in all of the space right here. Just right along where all of the upside down stairs are. You don't want to place any of the blocks on the outer part like that. So you can see how you can see the oak wood on the outer side of the shape for the triangle. You just want to make sure you're filling in all the space here on the inside. Nothing should be on the outer side. So now all of that is filled in, we are going to have another window here. So you could just delete these three blocks, leaving one at the top and at the bottom. We'll have a stair at the bottom and at the top, and then we'll have the glass. And there we go, we have that filled in. So this is what it should be looking like. So now everything we just did here, we're then going to do over here at this other side. I am going to show it one more time since it is a bit complex, like a little bit more complex than I would usually have my builds. So I'm going to go ahead and just show it one more time just in case. So we'll start with the stripped spruce logs. We're going to bring these up. If you remember, it's going to be an extra four. So now it's lined up where that upside down stair is. We'll do the same on this side and for the back. And now we'll go ahead and switch to the oak wood. Oh wait, my bad, I almost forgot. We have the strip of the log. So we have the two right there. We have the five right here in the middle and the extra two there. Do the same on this side. And now switch back to the oak wood planks. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in that corner with the three. Fill in the middle here. So you can see we have four layers just going straight across. And then we have three here and one. And then the other corner here. 
do the same here at the back. All right, now let's go on the outside and I'm gonna go ahead and just add the extra spruce wood stairs. Just fill in all of the remaining space. Fill in the full block there at the top. Go ahead and cut out three spaces here. We're gonna have our window again. Go to the front. Do the same thing. And that's looking good. Let's go here at the side. Fill it all in first with the oak wood planks. And now let's go ahead and cut out the hole for the window. All right. And I think that was everything. Yep, it all looks good. So now uh, we'll go here at the front. This is really quick. Just switch back to the oak wood planks. And we'll just fill in the opening here. So now from the outside, looks like that. And what else could we do? Oh, you know what? We could go out the back, fill this in as well. like that and we are going to add some more of the stripped spruce logs as a little extra design right here for this shape so make sure we'll just start here at the right we're going to leave four blocks so we're going to be here on the fifth block you can see we're also lined up where this beam is and we're going to go ahead and just delete this and add the logs just going straight up you could go ahead and line up where this one is. We'll do the same thing. And now make sure to skip over two spaces. So we're gonna be on this third layer. We're gonna have another strip going straight across along the side. So just make sure these ones are now sideways. And there we go extra little feature here for the back and now we're not going to worry about filling in these big sides quite just yet i want to go ahead and fill in the main part of the roof here and then we'll be able to see how much of like how much space is actually remaining here before we actually start filling all that in let's go ahead and focus on the roof here for the balcony we also have to fill in the ceiling here for the porch so let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll head back onto the roof. Now, just make sure to switch to the spruce wood planks. We'll start by filling in the roof here for the balcony level. So you just want to make sure you're here at the same layer as the stairs for the overhang. And we're just going to fill all of the space in with the spruce wood planks, just all at the same layer. So now, it's all just filled in like that. The next thing we're going to do is switch to the spruce wood stairs. We're also going to be using slabs. And we're pretty much just going to be adding some little arches in between all the pillars. So we'll start here at the side. Just add a stair like that in each corner. And then add some spruce wood slabs there. We'll do that for these two spaces here at the front. Like that. We have the space right here down the middle, so make sure you're at the... Or actually, you know what? It's going to be here on the outer part, right here. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're doubling this up now that I remember. There we go. Yeah, I just remembered. So there we go, doubled up like that for that middle part. And then let's go ahead and add these ones here. And then the one here at the side. And now there is one final thing I'm going to do. We're going to go here underneath. And we're going to add some in between the pillars here. And above them, we're going to be adding some glowstone. So this will be the main light source. So we'll just add two blocks of glowstone right there. Just right in between these pillars. 
we do the same here for this side and right here now let's go ahead and have the stair just right up against each of those pillars and now we'll cover up those glowstone blocks with the slabs and there we go we have that upper level done let's go down here for the porch switch back to the full blocks of the spruce wood planks and we're going to be one block higher than these lower beams that we have here. So it's going to be where this like gap that we have is. So you could go ahead on that layer and then just fill all of this in right here. If that looks good. And now let's go in between where we have all these pillars and just add the little arches. So first, we're going to be adding the glowstone for the extra light source. And then we'll add the stair on each side with the slabs to cover it up. And now we have all of that filled in. So now let's head on back up and focus on the roof. So let's go on each side. We're going to switch to the dark oak wood stairs. We're also going to be using some of the slabs as well. And we're going to start filling in the actual roof. So start with the stairs and I'll just maybe go over here in this corner first. And we're going to be just pretty much filling in all of the space in between the stairs. So we have just one right there. We have these ones, so they're all just curving together. Just make sure they're all at the same layer. And it should all just uh, flow together nicely and work out as it should. So we almost have this corner done. So that side's brought up. We still have to add one more here. So what we're going to do is just bring it straight across to the other side. Like that. And then right here where the slab is, like I mentioned, we're now going to have some dark oak wood slabs. So we have this corner filled in, we have that strip going straight across. Let's go ahead and do this corner. And there we go. So now we have this entire side filled in. We'll now head on over here to this side and start filling all this in. We're going to be bringing these stairs up until we're lined up with these beams here. So, I'll start just, uh, I'm like here at the back, but you can start at the front as well. It's going to be the same exact thing. So we're going to start right on top of the overhang, just curve it into that first stair. We'll bring this along. We just want to make sure we're right on top of where this beam is. And then we'll just continue going up for the next layer. Bring this all the way over to the same spot right there. And yeah, just continue doing that until this entire side is filled in. So we brought that up here for this back side. So it's all filled in like that. We'll go up to the front. We'll do the same thing. And we're going to have a layer of slabs going straight across from the front to the back right along here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, and now the rest of this here will be the stairs, the same way we just did that back side. Oh, you know what? I actually just realized uh, we brought this part up too high. This is going to be a slab right here. That is my bad. So uh, let me go ahead and fix that. There we go. I uh, I didn't notice that. That is my bad. So that's all good. Works out perfectly. All right. So this is what this side's looking like. Now I'm going to head on over to this side and I'm going to do the same thing. So 
So now I have this side also filled in, like that. So now you can see the remaining space right here, we have to now fill in with the oak wood planks. I'm actually going to fill in the entire roof here for the middle part now. And then the last thing we'll do is fill in the remaining walls right there and the overhang. I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. So, switch to the dark oak wood stairs. I'll just start here at the front. And it's just the same thing we've done everywhere else. So we have this first layer here that just curves into this little triangle point we have. Continue this along. We have the next layer. So you can see this triangle point is now filled in for that side. So we're going to do the same thing over here. And then all the rest of it is just straight across from one side to the other. So first, let me go ahead and now just fill in this side. Pretty simple, just connecting it all together. So now we have that bottom part here at the front side. Now we're just going to continue along and just go straight across from one side to the other. Just like this. And there we go, the entire front side is filled in like that. We're going to go to the back. We're going to do the same thing. The only difference is this triangle point is bigger. So we're not going to be starting going straight across from one side to the other until we're higher up. So I'll just start down here at the bottom, work my way up until this entire corner right here is filled in. And then we'll just go straight across from one side to the other along the top. So now I have this corner filled in, as you can see. We're now going to do the same thing over here on this side. And then you can see we have three layers where we're just going straight across from one side to the other, which I'll actually just go ahead and do now. So this is one. And then this will be two. And then three right here. And now let's go ahead and just fill in all of the rest of this side. And now the entire back side is filled in, as well as the front, so we have it all done. Now let's go ahead and fill in the sides here. So what I'm going to do is just switch to the spruce wood stairs. I'm just going to follow along all these upside down ones and just add an extra layer behind them. So it's going to be starting right here. I'm just going to work my way up. Fill all of this in. And then back down here at this side. Just like that. And then I'll go over to this side and I'll do the same thing starting right here. And once you have all that filled in, you can go ahead and switch to the stripped spruce log. We're going to place one right behind where this stair is. That's kind of like upside down, but on its side. So we're just going to place that right there to fill in that empty space. And then let's head on over to the other side. We're going to have one right there. We'll do the same over here. And now we're just going to fill in all of this space here with oak wood planks. So I'll just start, I'll go ahead and follow along all the dark oak wood stairs. We have the slab here as well, and if I just work your way back down. So this is what it's looking like. And now we'll pretty much just fill in all of the other space above those blocks. So we have this strip right here. We'll do the same on this side. And then we'll just fill it all in. So you can follow along the spruce wood stairs. Just work your way all the way up and back down. And then you can see it's just all throughout here. So 
So I'm actually gonna go on to the outside so you can see what it's looking like. It should just be looking like a solid wall. So it's now just all filled in with oak wood planks. You can see right here, this really isn't going to be visible from like all the way down here. Uh, but you could, if you want to, just go ahead and replace that with a stripped spruce log so that they're all in the same direction. It just looks neat right here. I'll go over... Oh, that one's already done. So let me go over to this side. We're going to be fixing this one. I think this one's good already. Yep, okay. So now, let's just continue filling in all of this with the rest of the oak wood planks. Alright, and now that side is filled in. We have some windows that we're going to do in the roof. And then we just have a little extra decoration there on the top on each side. Kind of looks like a little bit of a chimney, but it's just more of a decoration. And then I think that's all I'm really going to do here in this video. I don't think we're going to have enough time to also do the landscaping. So that'll be the first thing we do in part 4. Now for the windows and the roof, we're pretty much using a lot of the same blocks. So we have the stripped spruce logs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, spruce wood planks, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, and white stained glass panes. I'm going to be starting here at the front. We're going to have a total of 4 windows here at the front and then two at the back. So, you can start with these stripped spruce logs, and I'm just going to start over here more towards this right side. We're going to leave three layers of stairs at the bottom, and then three layers of dark oak wood stairs at the right. So we're going to be... Let's see, we're going to be right here. So you can see we have three layers, like three spaces of the dark oak there. Three layers down here. And then we'll delete an extra two, so we have a total of three spaces there. We'll go ahead and skip over three, start right here, and delete another three. So a window's gonna be there, and a window's gonna be there. We'll do the same on this side. So, let's see, is that the right spot? Yep, so we have that space there, and right here. I'll also go at the back, and I'll mark out where these windows are gonna be. So once again, it's just at three spaces at the bottom, and the three spaces of dark oak at the right, or like at the side. So, yep, right there. Same over here on this side. Like that. Okay, so I'll head back on up to the front. I'll probably show how to do the window twice. So I'll show it once, then twice, and then I'll go through and do all the others. What I'm going to start out by doing, see what I did at the original build was just had a spruce wood plank, but what I'm going to do instead is have a spruce, or my bad, a dark oak wood plank. So it matches the stairs. I don't know why I had a spruce wood plank, but it's going to be a lot better to just have the dark oak. So we're going to place a block right there. You know what, we're actually just going to place three so it'll then make it easier to place the logs. So now go ahead and switch to those logs. We're going to place three going up on each side. We'll have an upside down spruce wood stair right there. And then we'll have white stained glass panes right here. So that's the actual window part. And then we'll go back here. We'll delete this first layer of the dark oak wood stairs. Then we have the second layer. The third layer. And we'll probably just leave it at that for now. Let's then switch to the spruce wood stairs. We're going to be placing these upside down just right where those logs are. And then we'll have one on its side, just right on top of that. We're going to have a full block in between those. And then an upside down stair in front of that. The two slabs on top. And then the slab at the back. And now let's switch to the dark oak wood stairs. We're going to line up where this spruce wood stair is. We'll just have a strip going into the main part of the roof like that, so it just curves together. We'll do the same on this side. And then before we add the slab here, let's go on the inside. We're going to switch back to the stripped spruce logs, and we're going to be filling in these corners here. So we have two right there, and then one. So two and one. 
So now from the outside, it's all filled in with these stripped spruce logs. And then let's go ahead and finish it off with the dark oak slab right there along the top and the middle. And this is the little roof window design that I'm going to be doing for this build. A bit different than what I would normally do. I wanted to switch it up a little bit and I think it looks fine. So now I'm going to show you how to do it one more time here and then I'll go through and do the others. So make sure you have the oak wood planks or like the dark oak planks. We'll go ahead and just fill in the three spaces here. Switch back to the stripped spruce logs. We'll place three going up on each side. We'll have an upside down spruce wood stair along the top in the middle. White stained glass panes for that space. Back to the stripped spruce wood stairs, or spruce wood stairs, not stripped. <laughs> We're just gonna have these upside down in front of the logs. And then we'll have a sideways one on top of that. And then we're going to have a full block here. Upside down stair in front of that. Slabs on top. Slab behind it. And now let's carve out. We'll go ahead and do three layers of the dark oak wood stairs like that. And then we'll add the dark oak wood stairs right here. Lines up where the spruce ones are. Curve it into the main part of the roof. Do the same on this side. And then just go on the inside. Add the extra layers of the stripped logs like that. We'll go back on the outside. Add the slab. And there we go. That is now two windows. And like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other four. And I'll see you once I have it all done. And there we go. I have all of the windows in the roof now done. So now let's go ahead and do the little extra decoration that I have here at the top on each side. And then, like I also mentioned in the beginning, I totally forgot to add lightning rods on the original build. So I'm not sure how many of these you're going to need to add for this big of a build. I don't know if just adding one it's going to be enough to completely protect this entire build. Maybe one over here, that might be enough. I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how many you might need. It might just be one, it might be a few. I'm sure you could find something online to uh, figure out how many blocks a lightning rod actually covers. Just make sure to do add them so that your house doesn't burn down from lightning. Now let's add the extra little features on each side here at the top. So I'm going to be carving out a total of 8 spaces. And we're going to be leaving 2 spaces of dark oak wood stairs. So we're going to be on this third space. We're going to delete a total of 8 like that. So it just shapes out a little rectangle. We'll do the same on this side. Like that. Now we're going to be filling this in with stripped spruce logs. So I'll just start by placing some like that. And they're going to be three blocks in height. So one, two, and three. Just like that. We'll do the same here at the back. We could go ahead and just delete these if you want to save the resources. And then go ahead and just place a couple temporary ones. A few temporary ones here. Place it like that. And then we're going to have to delete that. And just flip it so that they're all in the same direction. Okay, and now on top of this, I'm gonna go ahead and have some upside down spruce wood stairs. So I'm gonna place a temporary one, and then just place that, and then we're just going to place them all upside down, and we're gonna curve them all together. Like that. And now on top of that, we'll then have the layer of dark oak wood slabs. So a little extra feature there in the roof. I'm going to do it one more time over here. And now there is one final thing I'm going to do here in this video. So let me just go ahead and clear all that. I'll get rid of this, and we're going to need the dark oak fence, the spruce trap door, the chain, and the lantern. 
We're gonna head on to the back. And I just made a couple little lanterns back here where the back deck is. So I'm gonna start with the spruce trap doors. And I'm just gonna be pretty much here at the same layer as where these beams are. But just here at the bottom part of it. And we're gonna be lined up here where these pillars are. So you could place a trap door like that. Underneath you could have a dark oak fence. And then you could have a chain and a lantern. So just a nice light source right there. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. There we go. There's actually one more thing I want to do before I end off this video since this is technically part of the house. I just had some moss blocks, some jungle leaves, and some vines over here where these spaces are on the side. So it just looks like these walls are kind of overgrowing with some leaves and moss and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the moss blocks. And I'm just going to replace some of these blocks here. Just make sure not to replace any of the blocks here where the strip of the oak wood planks are. Since you can see how that's actually part of the wall. But all of this here we could go ahead and replace as well as everything back here. Just avoid this strip right here. And I think down here at the bottom, yeah that's fine, that'll be covered up. And now I'm just going to add some jungle leaves. So these are going to be like some bushes just hanging over the edge. So we have that one, that is good. And am I forgetting... I think I'm forgetting a set of beams that I had right here. So yeah, I forgot to add a couple beams here, so make sure you have the stripped spruce logs. And we're going to add one right here. So we have three spaces, we have the beam, we have three spaces, we have these other beams, and then we're going to go down another three spaces and add another beam here. Leaving one space until you meet up with these stairs down here at the bottom. I forgot to add these beams. Let me go over on the other side, be sure to do that. So let me just head on back over to that other side. We'll continue on with the moss blocks, I'll replace some of these beams. There we go, I think that's good. And now, let's continue with the jungle leaves, we'll have maybe another bush right here. And then maybe another one over here. And then probably just one more here. And now let's add some vines. And I think that is pretty good. So it just looks like this wall is a little bit overgrown. And I did just notice, so both sides, so right here where this strip of the oakwood planks are, as well as this side, you want to avoid, you don't want to add any moss blocks, because you can see how it'll end up here, and it'll end up here. I thought it was just the one side, but it's actually both of them. But anyway, we have this all done, looks good. I'm now going to head on over here to this side. I'm going to do the same thing, and once again, just go ahead and avoid replacing these oak planks here, and over here. And now I'm done with this side, I think that also looks good, that should be enough. And now I'm going to be leaving it at that here for part 3. I thought we'd end up having time to do all of the landscaping, but I feel like if we start doing all that, it'll just cause the video to be a bit too long. So that'll be the first thing we do in the start of part 4. Alright guys, I'm going to be leaving it at that here for part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this wooden mansion. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 4.